Right, well, hello there, viewer, and welcome back to our Let's Play series for Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. So, I've uh, I've tweaked the sound settings here a little bit so that hopefully the, uh, the in-game dialogue will be slightly louder. Uh, the downside to that is that, unfortunately, um, as you see right here with the sound options, it, you know, it honestly only checks for the, uh, the custom soundtrack volumes. It doesn't check for any part of the in-game sounds, as in I can't boost dialogue while well, it's kind of lowering these, uh, you know, helicopter sounds and things like that. So, unfortunately, from the looks of things, we will just kind of have to uh, deal with it with what it, uh, what it is, really. So, that said and all, I think we'll hop back into the game and let's see, well, how this, uh, how this goes here. So... Um, seeing as we're dealing with the management of Mother Base, I can actually import my data from Ground Zero. So this is pretty much a basic file. I think I have right around 50% completion that game. Um, overall, I think it'll transfer some resources over and some more manpower for the base. So let's see what happens when we transfer this thing over. Oh, that's right. I have to upload it on that side too. Right, in that case, we'll load in the game, and I think we'll just do that in another time. Um, to the best of my knowledge, it doesn't actually add that much. I think it's a couple of soldiers, uh, and I think probably uh, one of the specialist teams, one of the bosses, if you will, uh, the the Eye and the Finger, the, uh, the sniper team from that game as well, makes an appearance. And right... It'll show us the first, you know, two cutscenes. We've already seen these in episode two. So we'll cut these out in uh, in favor of kind of saving some time so we can upload a lot more stuff as we uh, go along here. We need good people, and we need to make good use of their talents. Miller asked me to lay that out for you. Start bringing people in. Use this. It's a Fulton recovery device. When you're in the field, use it to extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here. And we'll see if we can persuade them to join the ranks of Diamond Dogs. Go on. Test it out on the staff here. Anyone you want. First, put them to sleep. You have a tranquilizer gun, Holy don't you? Punches. Out like a light. Now approach him and extract him. Okay, so all we really have to do is just exactly that. These guys have just kind of pulled up into the sky, and they really... So yeah, I mean, people familiar with the, uh, the preview material for the game will have seen <laughs> more than their Apple share of this photoning system. So yeah, you can, ex uh, you can extract, I think, you know, apart from people here, you can extract uh, equipment. And I think you can even extract animals later on as well. And overall, yeah, a lot of stuff there. So that staff member was placed on the R&D team. The R&D team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons items under the development heading. Right, so let's see where this is all... At development, weapons and items. That's the R&D team's development list. See the item called Cardboard Box? Didn't seem much use to me, but Miller was adamant that you'd want it on the list. The last word in infiltration technology, or so he said. In any case, we don't have the manpower to develop it just yet. We need more staff on <laughs> the team. Go extract a few more people. Box, put the iDroid away. You can also Fulton extract individuals you've knocked out. Why don't you try knocking someone out with CQC? Show them how it's done. I'm ready, Paul. <laughs> So the next mission seems a little petty. 
Gotta get enough people here to research a simple little cardboard box. Extract the next staff member. Extract him. Any method you like. Start by knocking him out, or you can put him to sleep. Right, so let's see what happens this time. I'm guessing it blows up or something like that. Extraction arrived No? Okay. Weapons items under the development. Please, now select project. cardboard box and start development. Just be aware that development requires funds. Development has finished. Please select a You can have the support point. unit supply you with weapons and items you've developed. Think of it as your own Supplies personal Supplies requested. Service. Supply drop complete. Alright, so that's kind of neat enough. We can do a little bit of research on the side here. And I'm guessing that tears up to um, a lot of very, very useful things later on. And yeah, we can take a quick shower over there. I think it helps you out somehow. Oh, would you look at that? They even have a little salute here going. So I suppose we'll fly back, see whether or not we can find some more people to equip our base over here. Wanted to try one thing there, but uh, as you may have noticed, I grabbed the guy instead. Apparently you can, you can actually salute back or, you know, talk to the soldiers on the base here. Didn't come up as an option though, uh, but maybe we'll see that in the future. Alright, well, I suppose in the last uh, section there we saw a lot of different stuff uh, that we can research starting now. In fact, we teared up in research about, you know, three or so levels, so that's actually quite a lot. Alright, so let's see what this is all about. Ah, mission list. 
taken the job offers Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. The objectives of the missions I've added are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high-value target elimination. Probably all a walk in the park for you, but they should help you get back on your feet. I put the mission details on a cassette tape. Refer to it if you decide to accept the mission. We'll receive GMP for completing missions, and extracting soldiers and prisoners will boost our ranks. Building up Mother Base is the first step to achieving our goal. If that means wet work, so be it. We're gonna have to get our hands dirty. I hope you're rested up, because we're not stopping. Not until the pain is gone. The future of Diamond Dogs is in your hands. We're counting on you, boss. Right, so we've already seen the uh, the the three missions over here. It looks like there's you know quite a lot of side objectives that you can kind of do inside these missions to yeah wrap up a few things. So uh, for the playthrough for now at least, I don't think we'll you know kind of go back and take a look at that. But uh, later on, um, that might just be something that I I, I I do on my own time to possibly see what uh, what these secondary objectives do. Anyhow, I think we'll do a hero's way over here, and let's uh, check out what this is all about. Farming villages in southern Vahan have been subjected to a strategic bombing campaign the past several weeks. The damage is spreading. It's part of the Soviet scorched earth operation aimed at wiping out the guerrillas. The target this time is the commander of a Spetsnaz detachment. He's been key to the operation's success. People say this guy's responsible for annihilating the Mujahideen at Tsmasi Laman, the Hamid fighters, overnight. He's a tough, experienced commander. Don't underestimate him. The order from my client in the West is to shoot on sight. They want him out of the picture for good. Sorry, boss. This one's purely business. Wet work. A hit on a commanding officer of the Soviet military. Nothing personal. We're only doing this because it gets us one step closer to our goal. Okay, so it doesn't look like it'll tell us the mission tasks before we embark upon this. So, you know, that said and all, I suppose we'll just do these in order. Mission accepted. Okay, so two landing zones, one over here, one over here. Doesn't really matter now, does it? Not too much at this point, at least. Ah, and there we go. Right, so you have uh, a very high level of control over, you know, what you want to send in yourself into the field with. Let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, so not too much unlocked so far. We have a couple of rifles and all that. We're actually come to think of it. Let's take an in-depth look into this. Yeah, no, there's, uh, there's not too much there in terms of different types of rifles and stuff that we have so far. So, um, those things are, I would imagine, things that we kind of pick up over time. So let's see, yeah, we, ha we can have a buddy over here, we can send uh, D horse in with us. Can also send us uh, ourselves a vehicle if we had any in store. And in addition to that, we can actually select, or we should be able to select from a, a variety of characters later on. So, uh, in addition to that, looks like we can do either Olive Drab or... Tiger Stripe over here. This one's a rocky surface, eh? So I suppose this will be a little bit better inside the desert. Uh, overall, I mean, we don't have too much for deployment, so I think we'll just begin like that. Skills like his, it'd be a shame to waste him. 
then I'll leave the method up to you. Boss, make your way to Deshago Calais and eliminate the target. Alright, so let's see. Make our way to Shago Calais over here. Good enough. Let's see whether or not there are any side ops just yet on the field. Nope, not just yet. Ah, and I see. So, from that missions list, it looks like, yeah, a lot of the stuff on the side here is actually. Kind of hidden away for the time being. And I'm guessing if we move around. Yeah, but I'm guessing if we go around over here and, you know, move around these outposts. We might be able to find intra areas of interest for for things just to kind of bring back to the base. Right, so let's begin by let by actually going around over here to choose one of these outposts and to check out what exactly is over here. Try and see whether or not we can find any goods over there, probably some intel perhaps. And you know, come to think of it, I think we've uh, visited this area once before here. I suppose now I can come over here, yeah. Provided that there's a sky above these guys, we can grab them. And we can airlift them just like that. So I think all we have to do is bring this guy outside. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. And right, so I think that does about that. So, not too bad. Looks like we've gotten a wide variety of different things here. Uh, it doesn't look like we can fault in the mortars just yet. Though I think we uh, we saw a machine gun over here somewhere. No? Alright. That works too. Would have been nice if we were able to get that too. Right, so let's actually check out what we can develop over here with uh, different weapons and stuff. So let's see, all of these different things are kind of uh, development things that we can embark upon right now. You know what, I think we'll do something, you know, a little bit basic, a little bit in our range, and research some new camo. So, very very fast type of deal. Um, I would, you know, honestly like some uh, smoke grenades, I think those are really really rather helpful. That would also be really really helpful as well. Please select a drop, please. Specify a project. And yeah, I don't think I'll drop one of those just yet, but uh, maybe later on. Right. 
So let's see. That gives us a lot of people. Uh, moving on here. Okay, so, then, so I see. So we can tap through those guys as well. Doesn't do too much more about from that. Right, so let's get a move on over here. Huh, what would you look about? It has a little side panel here. You know, to me, there's something odd about these guys right over here. A Soviet soldier. A lot of them came from Central Asia before, but lately they've been using more and more Russians. Simple, really. There's less hesitation to pull the trigger if they're not fighting their own race. Morbid cynicism, but it gets results. That's humanity for you. kind of wonder why they have these glowing glowing beacons right over there. But hey, fair enough. Uh, let's see, what can we do here? Uh, if we press 4... Where are your friends? See whether or not that does anything. What we need is an interpreter. The main principle of intelligence work is intel gathering. But that's a problem if you don't speak the enemy's language. We need a staff member with the interpreter skill to do a simultaneous interpretation. Right, so one of the things is that, yeah, you need an interpreter, which is uh, from, from some of the side, from some of the preview material. They are usually um, a part of the side missions. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have one so far, so the best we can do is kind of float on these guys away and to continue to go over here. Tap over here, take a look at that mission again, see whether or not there is anything uh, changing there. And in the meantime, let's go to the map as well. Let's take a look at the area that we can kind of operate in. And I still don't see any, yeah, any big difference here. Maybe if I toggle through some different map views from, from the looks of things. Yeah, and still nothing. All right, in that case, uh, it looks like we find an interpreter later on, but for now, I guess we'll press forward and make do with our, our captured band of uh, soldiers right over here. Right, so let's see, that is quite the big place. What is that? Oh, it's a bird. Okay, so you can <laughs> you can profile the animals as well. It's kind of cool. That's the sturdiest building in the area. It would be perfect for the target to hold up in. Right. So it looks like So it looks like we found where we kind of need to go. You arrived at the objective. Your target should be somewhere in that outpost. And don't forget, he has a Spetsnaz recon detail with him. You Keep your guard up. Extraction arrived at Oh, well, that's even better. That is just all very, very juicy targets down there to grab and airlift away here for, for our own purposes. So I think we'll continue to take a look over here. And it's a shame that we don't have the uh, the tools right now to, to process these people. But yeah, later on you get those tools, really, really rather useful. Come on, grab the third guy. Ah, screw it. So we marked them down for now. Uh, you know what? I want a supply drop. I want some ammo. 
and some stuff like that. Supplies requested. Right, because I think I'm running slightly short on uh, tranquilizer darts and things like that. So that's far away. Where the drop should be far away that nobody will will see it come by. Right, so I'm kind of wondering whether or not I want to grab this right now, or whether or not I kind of want to wait a while. Right, in that case, I suppose we'll just grab all of it. And we'll see what we can do here. How is that guy even carrying his gun? What is going on right over there? <laughs> yeah, it looks like the model glitched out. Right, so that vein on the side of the wall looks like something that we can climb up to. Very, very good. We climb up there, throw the guy off, float on them away, get rid of an enemy. And right, so this would get rid of uh, one guy for us. I don't know, a little bit sloppy with the key CQC. Probably could have shot him too, but you know what, that's not a big deal. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't kill him. Hopefully that doesn't either. There we go. So not exactly kind of, you know, hidden. But not exactly exposed is the uh, the thing there. So overall, not bad. Is there any good loot in here? That yeah, doesn't seem like it. So I think the plan right now is to just go up here, grab the guard tower men first. I don't know, even maybe uh, lift up some of the some of the equipment down below and try to go off of that is the main thing. Okay, so we'll get that guy out. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Doesn't look like we can carry uh, heavy objects so far. So I'm, gu so I'm guessing that might be a bit of a later tier upgrade. Shrink both of these guys before they can talk. And now this might be a little bit risky, but uh... Put that on you, put that on you. He's coming too. Roger that. Target. Boss, 
is eliminating him. Neither just knocking him out. Right, so unfortunately this guy right over here saw our little air charade outside this very window. Let's see what we can do about getting out of this. Speaking to that, I don't think I'd be able to drop one right over there, eh? Oh, it's not exactly the best room for this with all the windows and all, but... Yeah, that, that does. That does the trick. Good thing we marked everyone before we we tried this. Oh, would you look at that? More rock, more metal, perfect. Okay, so now if all goes well... Ooh, yikes, that's not gonna cut it. I was gonna say if things went extremely well, we would have been able to airlift it uh, just right like that. So yeah, exactly that. We'll try to make our escape here, and again, we'll check whether or not we can airlift one of these vehicles with something like that out. Alright, well, I think that is pretty much a job done there and then. Let's get the pilots to land up over here. And we'll just head right on home. Yeah, it looks like we had to go across the bridge here, so that's fine. We should probably check for... Yeah, probably should check for guards first before I dash around places. But bah, it doesn't look like it's much of a problem. Right, so it looks like the chopper takes some time for it to get us where to get here. So in that sense, let's take a look at what skills some of our people have. So let's see, I think the uh, the the two people that we got. Or no, never mind, it doesn't look like I can find that, uh, that SS... Well, not SS, but as a guy there. Don't know why I said that. Um, so that is quite interesting. It might be one of these two people, either Crawling Harry or Silent Mastodon. Silent Mastodon over here has an A plus in, from the looks of it, combat. So I'm guessing it is. Um, 
yeah, kind of his speciality there. Uh, what can we do with him? We can change his assignment later on, I guess. Okay, so easy enough. 